Hi, welcome to Speed Time Distance Tutorials of IndiaEDU.com. In earlier classes, we have discussed concepts related to speed time distance, their convergence, and the proportionalities between these three dimensions. Today, moving further, we would be discussing about motion in a straight line. Now, when an object travels in a straight line, then that is called motion in a straight line. And objects can travel in a straight line in two ways. Either the objects can move in same direction or the objects can move in opposite direction. Now, let's see what happens when objects travel in same direction. Say there are two fixed points A and point B and there is x object whose speed is sx and this distance is d. So now what happens when this distance travels? So this object will travel in this direction with speed sx and will cover a distance d. Now say there is another object say y whose speed is sy. This will also travel in opposite uh, in the same direction. Now the relative speed of sx that is what will be the speed of sx in comparison with sy will be summation of both of them because they are traveling in same direction. And suppose speed of x is greater than speed of y. So relative speed of sx that is s r x will be equal to s of x minus s of y. Similarly, relative speed of y that is s var y will be equal to s of y minus s of x. And we have discussed in our previous class the proportionality between speed and time that is if speed is more then time taken by that object to cover the same distance will be less. So, this gives us that s of x is directly is inversely proportional to time. So, time taken by object x will be less as compared to time taken by object y to travel the same distance. Now, let's see. If these two objects are traveling in the same direction with speed sx and sy and it is given the speed of x is greater than y. So, with this equation, it is it has proved that x will reach this point earlier in comparison to y. Say x reaches here in 1 hour and y will reach someone here in 1 hour. Now what will happen when x will reach at point B? When x will reach at point B, it will again start moving in opposite direction and y will move in the same direction. So they will meet someone at this point, say point C. Now this is called as first meeting point. So first meeting point. Now at the first meeting point, the dis total distance covered by A and B would be distance covered by A and distance covered by B. That is distance covered by A plus distance covered by B. Now distance covered by object X is AB plus that is D plus this distance between C and B. So distance covered by, sorry, it's X and Y. Distance covered by X would be total distance AB plus CB. And distance covered by object Y would be total distance AB minus total distance CB. So AB minus CB. This gives us CB cancel CB and we get 2AB or say 2D as the answer. Now similarly at their second meeting point what will happen? X will travel in this direction and Y will travel in opposite direction and they will meet someone over here say point P. So at this point the distance covered by both of them will be equal to that is second meet the distance would be equal to 4D third meeting distance would be 60. 
So this gives us the formula that distance covered by objects say in n number of meetings is 2 into n into d where n represents total number of meetings covered by them and if you need to calculate the time then time will be equal to total distance that is 2 n d divided by relative speed of this object as we have discussed that relative speed would be sx minus sy or sy minus sx so it depends whichever speed is positive or whichever speed is greater you take that speed now let's see what happens in case of opposite directions let's see what happens when objects move in opposite direction suppose there are two points point a point b and two objects that is object x and object y speed of object x is sx speed of object y is sy now their relative speed would be s of x plus s of y because both of them are moving in opposite direction that is x is moving in this direction and y is moving in this direction and let's suppose speed of x is greater than speed of y so what will happen when x will start moving in this direction and y will start moving in this direction because speed of x is greater than y so x will cover large distance in comparison with y so say they will meet at this point say point c now distance covered by both of them in their first meet would be distance covered by x and distance covered by y that is AC plus CB which is equal to AB the complete distance now let's see what happens in the second meet in the second meet X will continue start moving in this direction and Y will continue start moving in this direction when they will reach points A and point B so x will start moving in opposite direction in this way and y will start moving in this direction now let's suppose they meet anywhere at point d now in the second meet distance covered by them would be that is at the second meet x was over here and it has covered cb plus bd cb plus BD now plus distance covered by object Y. Y was over here and Y has covered CA plus AD. If we add them up, if we add AD plus DB, we will get AB as the answer. And if we add BC with AC, we will get AB as the answer which gives us 2ab that is twice of distance if we represent this distance by d so similarly in the third meet our distance would also be equal to 2d so formula in this case becomes if we calculate complete distance that is total distance would be equal to d plus 2 into n minus 1 into d that is because in the first meeting they both will cover single distance d and in other successive meetings the distance would be twice of their meetings now let's see some examples based on this it says two bodies a and b start from opposite ends p and q respectively of a straight road they meet at point 0.6d from p find point of their fourth meeting in the question it is given that there is a road whose points are p and q and objects travel in opposite direction that is a travel from point p and b travel from point q and they meet at a point 
0.6d. Now we need to find out the point of their fourth meeting. So first of all, let's find out the total distance covered by object A and B till fourth meeting, which will be equal to that is total distance will be equal to d plus n minus one into d into two, which is equal to d plus n is four minus one into two d d. Plus three into two d is six d, which gives us seventy. Now we can see here that time is constant, which gives us that ratio of their distances would be equal to ratio of their speeds. And the ratio of their distances would be this distance is point six and this distance is point four. So distance of object a and distance covered by object b in their first meeting would be 0.6d divided by 0.4d which is equal to 3 by 2 now let's see the distance covered by only object a during their first meeting that is da ratio db is given 3 ratio 2 so distance covered by a would be 3 upon 3 plus 2, which gives us 3 by 5. Similarly, distance covered by B in first meet will be 2 divided by 3 plus 2, which gives us 2 by 5. Now let's see the total distance covered by A in their fourth meeting. So total distance covered by A would be 3 upon 5 into 7D. Which gives us 4.2d as the answer, and total distance covered by B till their fourth meet will be equal to 2 upon 5 into 7d, which gives us 2.8d as the answer. Now total distance covered by A is 4.d till fourth meet. That is, if we calculate the meeting point from point P, it would be 4.2d. And if we calculate the meeting point from point Q, then it will be 2.8d. For more tutorials, tune in with IndiaEDU.com.